Basketball season starts in November. But for Texas A&M, the season is expected to extend well into March. The Aggies are taking their first steps to the dance floor. The season is going really well. Um, we have some very experienced uh, veterans who are leading the way very well. And uh, Danny and I were just riding the wave, trying to follow um, and understand the program and master it. I think it's going great. You know, we've had um, really good practices, and we've had we've had like some bad ones, you know, but. Always after those bad ones, we have a really good one. I think the season's going great. We're learning a new offense and we're sticking with it, the motion, and we're progressing in it, so I think it's going great. The season is going pretty well. You know, we're coming together, having some good practices that will help carry over until, you know, we play uh, our first game, and I think it's going pretty well. So. The season is going great. We started off a good um, preseason with conditioning and everything. And they carry over real good into like practicing and getting ourselves prepared for like the scrimmages, the red maroon and white game, and we getting ourselves prepared for the game on Sunday. The team performance was um we were executed real well on offense, but defense was kind of skeptical, and I'm sure Coach Starkey is going to have a lot of points that he wants to emphasize tomorrow in practice to get us ready for Sunday. But overall, I felt like the team did really good, and we competed really well. My thoughts on being 2-0 in the season so far, um, it's really good. We have a lot of things to work on, though. We see what we need to work on, and my teammates, we're just all encouraging each other to get the win and do what we got to do. It's a long two. Williams, Williams comes down, shoots a 14-footer and made it. And we've got overtime, folks, 63-63. Comes over to the right side, give it out in the corner to Walker. Walker dribbles to the paint, gives it outside to Williams. Williams jukes, shoots, puts it up. It's in and out and back in again. Nice shot from the baseline. The Lambert, she puts it up, no good. This time, Hillsman with the rebound, but now she loses the ball. Fight for it on the floor, they'll call a jump ball. Now give it outside to Walker. Walker shoots, got it from the left side. It's a long two. That's the horn, and that's the Aggies' victory as Texas A&M has come to Cameron Indoor Stadium and has gotten themselves a big win. As a team, we, we really didn't come out with our mind where it needed to be. And uh, we didn't really bring a lot of energy to the game today. We were kind of just being lazy at the beginning. And I think it, it took, you know, everybody, including myself, a while to get our energy going. And we kind of almost let them get us for a second. Life as a senior is different. And that is the case with the Aggies, Chelsea Jennings. But it has nothing to do with senioritis. In fact, it's quite the opposite. She's busy with basketball and undertaking an internship this semester. It's an architecture internship at Patterson's Architect. They go through floor plans and things like that. The things that they got wrong, they want me to correct them and know the right things to correct them with. It took me a while to first realize that I wanted to do this. My mom is a real estate major, so that kind of influenced my thought and I love to draw. Um, so that kind of influenced my process of wanting to become an architect. The life of a student athlete is never easy. It's often one thing to the next. Chelsea's schedule currently epitomizes this. A normal day for me during the week is probably uh, getting up for weights around 6.30, weights is at 7, and then straight from weights I go home, take a shower, 
and then I head to work and I'm working up until it's time for practice. And then after practice, whether I have studies, because along with my internship, I also have to write papers about my internship. So I might go to study hall or Slocum to eat, and then my day is about over from there. Sports and basketball began as a fatherly influence. My dad, uh, he grew up playing all sports. My mom is not so much a sport girl, but my dad, he played it all, football, basketball, baseball, so that influenced me to play basketball. Um, I realized around middle school when I kind of was hyped up and everybody was saying that I was good and that I could pursue basketball, so that's when I decided to start taking it serious. Um, I chose Texas A&M because of the atmosphere. I love the girls. I grew up with Jordan Jones, Courtney Walker, been knowing them for 10 plus years, so that was a big deal. So pretty much the family atmosphere. Chelsea Jennings has an eye on the future, all while focusing in on her final hoops season for the Aggies. In the coming weeks, preseason tournaments await. The team heads to Las Vegas in the South Point shootout, then it's off to Hawaii for the Tom Weston Invitational. Coach Gary Blair and company hope this team hits the jackpot.